I'm genuinely shocked. I mean, 24 hours after CATL revealed their new their new battery pack, which they say will, will not degrade even a single percent for five years. I mean, literally 24 hours later, a BYD come out with their own version of the same exact thing, which they say is even better than CATLs, and well, it could be. Here are the details, and honestly, it's pretty revolutionary. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in because we've got some really interesting info here. Okay, we didn't know exactly what the energy density improvement was of BYD's blade battery versus the old version. Now, there's a version two of the blade battery, which I talked about in my video. I'll put a link in the description below. But we've just found out what BYD have done in their super long energy storage batteries to increase the energy density and what the percentage increase is. It's actually increased by 11%. Um, but they say the energy system is 38, 35.8% higher system energy, which is insane. Now, what am I talking about here? Well, CATL just revealed their new mega packs, which is kind of like Tesla's mega packs, right? Uh, they have a new a new mega pack, which they say will not degrade at all, not even a single percent for five years, and it will last twice as long as previous lithium ion phosphate energy storage systems. Absolutely incredible battery pack, amazing value. The market kind of went, whoa, okay. Talk about disruption of coal, uh, gas, I mean, connect these up to renewable energy and you're just going to have an amazing system. BYD have come out within 24 hours and said, yeah, that's nice, but ours is even better. It's bigger, not much. CATL's Tanhang system is 6.25 megawatt hours. BYD's is 6.432. So it's a little bigger and apparently it's actually even cheaper. I mean, the competition between these two is absolutely fierce and it's actually killing their rivals. They're growing but their rivals are not. If you look at their market share this year, it has grown. BYD and CATL, their rivals market share has shrunk. So yeah, the Chinese government are correct. It is becoming a monopoly with BYD and CATL in terms of the battery market. BYD launched its next generation energy storage system called the MC Cube T. And yeah, it's really, really seriously impressive. The new energy vehicle giant today revealed that this energy storage system is available for purchase immediately. Um, so today, you can buy one right now. The BOD MC Cube T, which is a rival to CATL and but also to Tesla's mega packs, has a capacity of 6.4 megawatt hours. And the upgraded capacity will reshape the value of energy storage, it said today on its social media accounts. It's basically laying down um, the gauntlet when it comes to energy storage because it's much better than the previous version and it's cheaper. The product uses BYD's new generation high capacity long blade batteries with up to 11% higher individual energy density, uh, individual cell energy density and up to 35.8% higher system energy according to the company. In other words, um, Basically, from what I can tell, the battery pack is actually the same price as the previous version, but you now get 36% more energy from the battery. Uh, so really, the battery price has come down enormously. BOD's MC Cube T features a compact design with a maximum 24.7% reduction in footprint for a typical unit. Um, but what does that mean? I don't know exactly. BYD, of course, is the world's largest manufacturer of um, cars with a plug. You know, if you combine plug-in hybrids and EVs, they're the biggest by far. And they're one of the largest manufacturers of batteries. In fact, they are the second biggest battery company in the world. On the 4th of May, 2023, CNAB Post says that BYD launched the MC Cube, the first energy storage system to integrate it's blade battery. So it's kind of a surprise. Like you wouldn't think BYD would just put blade batteries into one huge mega pack, but that's exactly what they do. Two days before BYD launched the MC Cube T, battery giant CATL actually launched its new energy storage system called the Tan Heng on the 9th of April. So BYD have a history of doing this. As soon as CATL reveal something, BYD do it. <laughs> they reveal their new version, which they say is even better probably a day or even two days later. The Tanhang is a standard 20-foot containerized energy storage system 
powered by CATL's um, specific lithium ion phosphate batteries, which CATL say have an energy density with 430 watts per liter, which is actually extremely impressive. But like I said, BYD is saying theirs has even more energy density. Uh, the price is similar. So which one are you going to buy? I mean, it's a hard it's a hard challenge. It's also a bit of a challenge for Tesla now with these rivals coming up with some incredibly good value products. And they're manufacturing, uh, you know, billions of dollars worth of these batteries. Very tough for anyone to compete with them right now. Guys, what the good thing about all this is, is that it's going to do one big thing, and that is kill fossil fuels. You can't compete with this if you're a pika plant. All the world's pika plants are going to be out of business within five years. I can't understand why there's even any in operation right now. It's absolute lunacy that you wouldn't actually just replace a pika plant with a mega pack battery like this as soon as as soon as you possibly can because the cost to run pika plants as elon musk has mentioned numerous times is insane people people pay up to 70 times more for the energy generated from a pika plant versus normal electricity supply when do pika plants actually operate well they operate when the grid is suffering uh, there's there's extra demand it could be at 6 p.m in the evening on a hot day everyone comes home turns the energy on uh, the grid can't handle it. Pika plants have to turn on. And that's when you get a big spike in your energy bills. And it's a key reason why your energy, your energy prices are really high at certain times of the day and really low at other times of the day. So these batteries, Elon Musk has mentioned now for many years, will replace those Pika plants. Pika plants are primarily uh, gas, gas powered, but there's some that are coal powered as well. And they're incredibly expensive to run. Of course, the owners of them make a lot of money. But batteries are replacing them at an incredibly fast pace. Generally, you'll find many of the big batteries in the world will replace Pika plants before they do anything else. And then, of course, you'll see more batteries integrated in, into the grid and start to replace coal plants like what's happening here in Australia and also in the US and also in China. And that's what these big batteries are for. So when the price of these big batteries comes down by 50%, which it has over the past 18 months, it means Pika plants stand absolutely no chance. And it means that coal power plants, well, their time is limited. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.